Hey y'all. Hey guys. Hey y'all. So again, this is my first time watching this video. So we're gonna be watching it together. So this is my girl Yanni. Excuse her uh slave shit braids. We we were up to like two in the morning trying to get this content, get her wig on. So baby, we was stressed, okay? Um, she was like, girl, put my ball cap on. I was like, bitch, look, I'm a beginner in this game. You're not about to shame me, hell. You was not about to shame me. So that's my um hair growth oil on her hands. So we were definitely trying to figure out, you know, uh, the next step before putting the goddamn ball cap on. And you know, that next step is putting that oil on your scalp and just making it feel so good. So we put that oil on her scalp or whatever. And then let the games begin. Let the mother, oh, y'all, my hands are so ashy. Y'all better not say shit about my hands. Y'all better not do it. Y'all know it'd be cold. It'd be hot and cold in Houston. So you're never prepared enough for anything in this damn city. So leave my hands alone. I'm not playing with y'all. So we rub her scalp. We get My braids are cute, by the way. Make sure y'all feminine attractions, braid and shop. They did my shit. Anyways, let's get into the plucking because this was a transparent lace. So these knots were thick as hell. And this freaking wig was so freaking like oh the hairline was so thick i personally am not gonna sell transparent lace because i don't know why they do the transparent lace so different from the hd it's so annoying but my girl got into it and she plucked the book out of this motherfucking wig and stay tuned my girl is coming out with online tutorials on how to pluck and how to fully install a lace wig so be on the lookout for that it's definitely in the works she's one of the best stylists in houston so she can really teach y'all like how to really get a bag like the wigs the girls are wearing wigs okay like we're not even gonna cap about that the girls are wearing wigs the girls want wigs so if you're somebody that knows how to either style wigs or install wigs baby baby you are gonna be on to something okay so this blue wig we actually she actually um I don't want to say she bleached the knots, but we did add color remover to the knots. Anytime you have a colored wig with colored knots, do not bleach it, okay? Just use color remover as though, do the same process as though you're bleaching. And then um, it'll just, you see how the, the roots are like white? It'll just, you know, remove the color from the roots. That way it looks more, you know, scalpiana. Y'all, I'm tired of motherfucker. My baby had me up all day. I am, she, ugh, she drive me goddamn crazy. But I'm here to get this work. I was like, let me get this voiceover. Y'all, she's really plucking the fuck out of this wig. Like, after she plucked this wig, it, she plucked the hole in it because the, <laughs> the, the wig was just too thick. And as a disclaimer, yes, this is my wig, but this is from a vendor that I started off with, like, when I first started doing this shit, like, eight months ago. So I don't even use this vendor anymore. My wigs come pre-plucked already, so you do not have to pluck my wigs, and that's that. This vendor was still good. The wig was very much so quality. The hair was nice, but, you know, that's when I first started. I didn't even know that, oh, it was going to be transparent. You know, you know the shit that happened when you first start, and eight months down the line, you be like, damn, I know this, this, and this now. So I know a lot more now, and I don't even fool with this vendor, so it don't matter. Well, yeah, she about to slay this whole slay this hoe yeah 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 slay that hoe uh-huh uh, slay that hoe so yeah she's still plucking it. i'm telling y'all this hairline i wish we would have got a before and after of the hairline i don't think we got like an in-depth of the hairline because i wasn't thinking <gasps> excuse me y'all i'm so tired and it's only eight o'clock jesus but um yeah the hairline was thick as fuck period it was so thick <laughs> So she really did such a phenomenal job. I love it. Oh, she did so good. Look at that hairline, y'all. I'm telling y'all, when she comes out with her tutorials, y'all better not sleep. Y'all better not sleep because y'all going to be looking crazy sleeping on this girl. Like she's very talented and very young. Look at that damn wig. It's giving. It's a giving, honey. And this mannequin head I got from a girl on Instagram named like Kenny Cole or something like that. She hands down sells the best beat face mannequins that I've ever seen in my life. And I've definitely been thirsty to find somebody before I found her. And I had already like kind of invested my money and in doing different type of mannequins. And 
you know, this one was the best investment. Like my wig content is so much better with this mannequin head. So if you're looking to get into the wig game, especially if you still not ready to ship wigs, you absolutely like hands down, the mannequin that you use needs to be like a cute one. Not those generic brands on Amazon. You need a cute one. And if you want to stick pins in it, make sure you get a PVC mannequin head. It's a specific mannequin head that has like a softer, spongy um, feeling to it. That way you can actually stick the net, the pins in it. When I first started in the wig game, child, I did not know about the different types of mannequin heads. And I wasted my money on mannequin heads. So just be very mindful, y'all, the type of mannequin head you're getting, you know. Just so y'all not wasting your money and getting straight the fuck to it. So yeah, we're just flat ironing it. She was she had a photo shoot, so she was going for that very sleek and flat look. So we're just flat ironing it real quick. And then my good sis is gonna throw that bad boy on her head. Yes, ma'am. I cannot wait. Even though I already saw, even though I watched her do this and saw, I cannot wait. I cannot. This is like me looking from a different angle. So I'm literally just like watching tv watching tv watching a whole damn tv show it's crazy crazy y'all did i mention we were up till 2 a.m in her suite getting her hair done <laughs> anything for content eh god damn Ooh. yeah this is the third time i didn't go on this time let me take my ass to bed this is cute this is so stinking cute. I'm over here watching like I wasn't there. <laughs> nah, it was cute though for shit sure. So we're gonna cut the ball cap off. Um, she glues her ball cap down. Me personally, um, I think that you guys should use what's an alternative for glue? Y'all should use bold hold liquid gold to melt your ball cap because it still gives you that melted feeling and then it's glueless just a suggestion i'm just telling y'all but most stylists who do the best lace <laughs> unfortunately they definitely glue their caps down <laughs> but i suggest using boho liquid gold because like i said it still melts that cap and then you still it still lasts too even though it's glueless so now she's putting as you can see she plucked holes in that lace because this shit was just the knots were just kind of thick so it does happen guys you can plug holes in your lace but Put your little makeup on and let's get to the money. Get to, I still can't believe this girl wore blue hair. But she did say, when I first showed her this wig, she was like, oh my God, I want it. I was like, babe, you got it, baby. You got it, baby. I just like how the knots are not, um, damn, do y'all see that foundation matching her to the T? What kind of sorcery? Jesus. <laughs> Wigs have really evolved, y'all. Literally, they have evolved so crazy it's, it's 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 crazy so she's gonna glue her unit on baby but y'all know all this gluing the unit on x y z abc one two three <gasps> okay that's my fourth time y'all it's time for a bitch to go to bed <laughs> like it's time for a bitch to go to bed it's not even a fucking question Plus, my baby's sleeping right now, so mm, I need to get it together and start packing my shit and getting in the damn bed. <laughs> wow, she's doing so good. This is so, like, satisfying to watch. Somebody put a fucking lace on. It's so satisfying to watch. By the way, her lashes were definitely strips. Somebody made her, like, some mink lashes. You know how to be making extensions? Lash, lash extensions? That's what her lashes are. Now, don't get my girl fucked up. She does some good ass lace. This is transparent lace. So just for y'all out there, transparent lace is a little bit thicker than HD lace. So when you melt it, <laughs> you're really just doing your best, honestly. Because like I said, it's transparent lace. It's a little thicker. So it's not going to melt exactly like HD lace. But I must say that she did her shit with this for sure. Like it was laid. It was flat. She did a really good job for this to be transparent lace for sure 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 for sure this looks good like and the fact that she did this herself is actually mind-boggling to me and she ended up telling me that she was just gonna use makeup to hide the rest of the white knots since we didn't have blue like spray or anything to 
clean up the um you know clean up the knots that probably got over over bleached or the color remover took too much of the blue off so that makeup kind of masks that of course we all know to do our little hot comb shindig there that's gonna give you the flattest wig that hot comb baby it's gonna do it every time baby every time Y'all, you know what was crazy about this install? There was so much static in the room that the goddamn hair kept, like, clinging to her hands and shit. So, it was so hard to keep it flat. It was so annoying. It's like, what can you do to stop that? Um, I ended up researching because I had came home to, to service some wigs. And, baby, all of them bitches were staticky. I was like, no, I can't do this. It fucks with the curls and stuff. So, um, I learned that you put, what? dryer sheets you use dryer sheets on the wig and it'll make it not as um staticky and it actually did work but i don't got time for that all the time shit seeing people do baby hairs on frontals it's just so satisfying oh my god i love it this is really cute this is super cute super cute those baby hairs are perfect is she crazy like, is she crazy? Those baby hairs are giving like a mug buckle. See, that's one thing in my weakness. I'm still trying to get the baby hairs together. This is kind of hard. But I feel like with practice, everything just kind of falls through, actually. Can't lie to you. But also, I don't like baby hairs for myself. So, eh, oh well. And a lot of my clients and shit, they don't care for baby hairs. And all the wigs that I've been selling currently, none of them have baby hairs. <laughs> So, fuck baby hairs, hell. I don't need to do them. Y'all don't need them anyway. This is cute. This is cute. This is really cute. Oh, And we did a little photo shoot after that. Like, I should put that on my YouTube short so y'all can see that. Because it was really cute. Matter of fact, when I post this video, yes, I'm going to flood my YouTube shorts with all of that. Oh, she looks so cute. Oh, I just realized she put her lashes on. Oh, no, her lashes been on. You know what? I'm delusional. It's time for me to take my ass to sleep. <laughs> she been put them fucking lashes on. My goodness. Oh, look at my little baby. She looks so cute. She's so cute, y'all. She looks so cute. Baby, that middle part bust down flat iron will literally do it every time. Every time. Effortlessly. Like effortlessly like period every damn time mm. i just love it it's just ugh love it love it 